Well, the Global Deal is directed to the promotion of, of social dialogue. And that's something, by the way, which the ILO has done for 100 years. It's the way we do our work. So not surprisingly, I, I attach the enormous importance to social dialogue. Uh, I, I think we've seen over the years that social dialogue is a tremendously important instrument with a proven track record of problem solving at the world of work, uh, it uh, brings people together in consensus-based solutions. Uh, and this is what the world of work needs, most particularly at a time of transformative and rapid change. We're dealing with the effects of climate change. We're dealing with this fourth industrial revolution. We've got demographic transitions. More than ever, uh, we need uh, social dialogue to be expanded. And that's precisely what we can do in the global deal. So I really hope that more are going to come on board. Well, what I think we have in the Global Deal is an instrument uh, which can uh, share experience, showcase good examples, uh, and begin to, if you like, spread the word. Uh, we are, I think, uh, already with 100 partners who have enormous experience in the practice of social dialogue, and they're able to share quite how that has been um, positive in improving economic outcomes, in getting consensual social outcomes. And the more we show that, I mean, more we share that experience, I think it um, will provide a really great dynamic for others to pick up the, the narrative and pick up the practice. The two things are slightly different. Uh, so I think it's tremendously important. But uh, it's a moment when I think uh, the global deal needs to expand. We need to step up perhaps a gear uh, and uh, you know, respond to the needs of the moment. I think growth in the first instance. Uh, there's always a danger uh, that you sort of confine yourself to a coalition of, of the willing. Those who already do social dialogue and are happy to come to talk to each other and sort of pat themselves on the back mutually. There's a feel good about that and it's sometimes a good thing to share that experience. But we need to get out of, if that is a comfort zone, we need to go beyond it. So I think we need to attract more countries uh, to, to membership. We need to expand, I think, the industrial base, bringing more companies in as well. Uh, and in that way, accelerate uh, the impact that we can have. And I say this because I think the practice of the Global Deal is intimately connected to realising the United Nations 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. And we are reminded at the beginning of 2020 that we are now only 10 years away from the, the deadline for that. So there's a feeling that we need to accelerate our efforts and to have greater impact. I think it's been a good takeoff uh, trajectory for the Global Deal, but now we have to go into cruising speed with an acceleration in that cruising trajectory.